I'm Lois Evans, and I've got my friends with me that I will introduce in a minute. But I want to welcome you so much. I see that Johnny Lee is on, and Maria, and I saw Rose, and you guys are just popping in. And tell your friends while we're on to join us, all pastors' wives. We want to kind of just be a part of your life today. Answer as many questions as we can and pray for you as well. So thank you so much for joining us. Um, let me start in prayer, and then we'll go right into introducing my friends today that have joined me, all right? Father, we thank you for another opportunity to invest in your kingdom. That's what it's all about. I thank you for the women that are serving you daily, mm. at the grind daily, serving you in your kingdom. I pray for them right now, mm -hmm. that you will encourage them, that you will give them the support they need today, that they'll realize that today is a new day where they can expect your faithfulness and they can expect your mercy. Mm -hmm. So, Father, we pray your blessing in our time together mm -hmm. that we'll minister based on your Holy Spirit's direction because mm -hmm. you know the needs that are there. And we all need to, to get a word from you. We need a word from you. So hide us, women of God, behind the cross yes. so that the old rugged cross alone speaks today because mm -hmm. our, de our desire is to please you and to encourage women in ministry. Yes. Thank you, Father, for another opportunity to serve you. And we give you all the praise and we give you all the honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Again, thank you so much for being with me. And I want to thank my friends for joining me today. Yes. You know, it's really something where you could just get on the phone and call friends and they actually say yes. <laughs> and these women, like you, have busy, busy schedules. We were just chatting before we got on of, of taking care of the children mm -hmm. and, and lots going on. You, yes. You've got a conference you're speaking at and I'm sure Sarita's got some things and Jackie. We're all busy folks and so are you. I see you, Emerald. But anyway, it's, it's a, and Vicky from Dominica. So glad to see you. Anyway, back to my introductions. <laughs> I was so delighted to call busy, busy women, pastors, wives in ministry, who said yes. Because I kind of want to think these women love pastors, wives. Mm -hmm. And they want it to be a part of your world and yes. a part of what God is doing in your life. Yes. So let me do a brief introduction of the ladies because I want to spend most of the time answering your questions. And as the ladies get a chance to talk, they will tell you more of what God has done and continues to do in their lives mm -hmm. and ministry, okay? Well, I have Jackie Pew to my right, maybe your left, mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe east, west, but anyway, to my right. <laughs> and Jackie I've known for a long time. Uh, she's a first lady of New Life Fellowship Church in Arlington, Texas. She's her ministries to children and children workers for over 20 years. Mm, wonderful. She has five children, and she will talk about her children, all the ages and things like that, okay? Mm -hmm. And then to my left, I've got Sarita Jakes, First Lady of the Potter's House, Dallas, Texas. She serves as the Executive Director of Women's and Children's Affairs at the Potter's House. And they too have five children. So yes. Jackie and Sarita, you have something in common there. <laughs> yeah. And then Jada, I've known Jada since she was a teenager, but now she's a pastor's wife, and I'm so proud of her. She and my daughter, Priscilla, kind of grew up together. Yes, but anyway, let me introduce you formally and not do what my husband does. <laughs> He calls you that teenager name that we called you, but anyway. Jada is a first lady of one community church, Plano, Texas. And Jada currently serves as the creative services director and the women's director of her church. They have two children. And we were just talking about her baby that's three months mm -hmm. old. Sweet. So we've got different yeah. age groups for questions mm -hmm. that might come about how in the world do you minister and take care of your family as oh well. Gosh. So we're ready to roll. So I'm going to get right into questions, and we're going to start with you, Jackie. Okay. Okay. And uh, let me say hi to a few people, though. There's Debbie on. Um, pastor's wife are very important. You strengthen us. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You strengthen us too. So yeah. thanks for joining yeah. us today. Yeah. And then Cynthia Stevens. Hi, First Lady Sarita. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining us. Keep rolling and keep telling your friends that we're on, okay? Well, Jackie, let's start with you with the first question. Okay. And this is a good one. Unfair expectations of a pastor's wife. Mm. Yes. How do you handle yes. that? Yes, mm. yes, yes. <laughs> You know, um, expectations can be good or bad. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, in a good way, they motivate us to accomplish things, to, yeah. to stretch ourselves, to grow. <clears throat> but on the negative side, they can cause us to feel that pressure, mm. be overwhelmed, yeah. feel anxious about things. 
Um, and uh, as pastors' wives, we have to learn how to balance. We have yeah. to learn how to manage. Yeah, we have to learn how to manage so much, yes. balance so much. I remember when my children were small. I was a stay-at-home mom. Uh -huh. And uh, I had this expectation that my house should always be clean. Yes. <laughs> People have clean homes, and I wanted my home to be clean, too. That's right. And when I get the living room clean, the bedrooms would be a mess. When I get the bedrooms clean, it, 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 would, it would be the kitchen. The kitchen's a mess. And, um, and that became a source of tension and frustration mm -hmm. constantly yeah. for me yeah. because I had this unrealistic expectation that I felt like I had to meet. Yes. Yeah. And so as I've matured and, and grown in the Lord over these 20-some years now, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, God has shown me that I have to look at every expectation that comes my way, yeah. and I have to ask myself, what's the source? Mm. Yeah. Is the expectation biblical? Mm -hmm. What does God have to say yeah. about the expectation? Wow. And then I have to carry the responsibility of how I'm going to respond to that. Mm -hmm. So true. I can continue to carry the burden mm. or I can release it to the Lord and walk in the wow. truth of God's word. Yeah. That's good. So when I look at, uh, you know, what's the source of uh, expectations in pastors' wives' lives and mm. in my life, mm. yeah. um, other people is a big mm. source. Yes. We, uh, we wow. receive mm -hmm. and, and take on for ourselves the burden of the expectations that wow. other people place on us. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. you know, whenever wow. someone enters into your church, they got a preconceived idea, most yeah. likely, of what yeah. the pastor's wife should be, oh, yep. what she should look like, mm -hmm. what she should be doing. Mm -hmm. And that's generally based on what experiences they've had. Yeah, that's true. You know, our congregation expects mm -hmm. us to be available when they need us. Their yep. emergency yes. is our emergency. Mm -hmm. They expect us to to be able to lead whatever ministry needs yes. to be led, whether or not it's our area right. of giftedness. Right. Interesting, yes. <laughs> because yeah. you're the pastor's wife. Right, and right. Get that done. We have job descriptions. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, wow. Um, but what I realized is that when I look at the people in my congregation, I can either make it my responsibility to keep everybody happy, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm and um, drive myself crazy in doing that, but we want the congregation yeah. to be happy, we want the people to be happy. Mm -hmm. yeah. But God's word says um, in Galatians 1, verse 10, right. Paul is talking and he says, he says, are we gonna please men? Mm. Are we going to please God? Because wow. if we're striving to please men, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then we're not going to be serving God. Mm -hmm. And so that, that mm. gives me a lot of peace. Yeah. Yeah. Because okay. when I think about, okay, they have the expectation that I should be the speaker at the women's breakfast. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. I, you know, I don't feel led to do that <laughs> right, this right. time. Or wear your hat. Yeah, no, no, just yeah. wear my hat. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so I have the freedom and the yeah. confidence in the Word of God to say, you know, no, and mm. it's okay. It's, you know, I don't yeah. have to be afraid to yeah. say no as the pastor's wife. Yes, so yes That's good. not my giftedness. Mm. Yeah, That's yeah. good. And then the other source, or another source, is ourselves. I realize mm. I'm my own worst enemy. Wow. I put expectations mm. on myself. Okay, true. Yeah. On, um, yep. on, on Saturday nights, when I should be preparing in prayer mm -hmm. for the three services we're going to have mm -hmm. on Sunday, yeah. Mercy. I'm in my closet thinking about, did I just did wear I that? Wear that? that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What am I going to wear tomorrow? Yeah. I can't wear that same dress again. Right. You know, you know because I have an ex funny. I placed an expectation on myself yeah. Yeah. that I need yeah. to look a certain way. Yeah. You know? Wow. And it's unrealistic. Mm. Yeah. And it, yeah. It, it, it creates that burden. Mm. Yeah. It does. And yeah. um and, and then, you know, as pastors' wives, sometimes we look at other pastors' I know. wives, mm -hmm. like right. these wonderful women on the yeah. panel. <laughs> and we think yeah. that's what a pastor's <laughs> wife mm. is supposed to look mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. And then we feel yes. like, oh, you know, I don't, want, <laughs> I don't measure up. You know, no. I can't do this and oh, I don't wow. do that. Mm. And then we get that negative self-talk yep. going yep. on in our head yep. that that's is right. so focused yeah. on what we can't do yes. instead of what we can do. Yes, mm, that's Absolute. a good point. Yeah. Focus on what we can do and not what we can't do. Is that right, what you're saying, right. Jackie? We'll we, sit again. we get that negative. Yeah. When we have an expectation that we feel like we're unable to meet, mm -hmm. okay. 
then we get talking, we get that negative conversation okay. going on okay, in our got head. It. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you're not able to do this, and you don't mm -hmm. measure up to this, and you should be able to do that. Right. And, uh, and that negative yeah. self-talk, you know, causes discouragement, yes. and it causes yeah. frustration, mm -hmm. and it causes mm -hmm. us to feel like, why am I doing yes. this? Why am I in this? And God's Word tells us, um, and I want to get this scripture sure, correct, sure, sure. Mm -hmm. in 2 Corinthians 10, verse 5, it tells us to take every thought mm -hmm. captive mm -hmm. and bring yep. it under the obedience yes. of Christ. Yeah. So we have, to, we have to sit down and say, you wow. know, what is the source of my discouragement <laughs> right now? Yeah. Where is that coming from? Mm -hmm. And write it out and say, now what does God have to say right. about mm -hmm. that? Yeah. And when it doesn't line up with God's word, then we have the choice. We can continue to spin our wheels and, wow. and be frustrated yeah, and carry yeah. that burden. Yeah. Mm -hmm. truth, truth. Or we can focus mm -hmm. on the truth. We yeah. can focus on God's truth and experience yeah. his peace in the midst of that. Ooh, you know, as necessary. you're talking about that, Jackie, I'm thinking of the song by Don, La Don Lawrence. Ooh. We have to learn to encourage ourselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I do a lot of talking to myself in the mm -hmm. mirror. Yes. Sometimes yeah. it's before church. Yes. I'm like, look. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. So we have to talk yeah. to ourselves. Yes. I do that all the time. I am constantly talking to myself. Yeah. I know yes. it. When I'm in the car at an intersection, people are probably looking on. Well, who is she talking to? Because yes. I constantly do that. But I have yeah. to do that yes. to keep my mind thinking right thoughts. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, Excellent. Philippians eight. It. Uh, it, it it um, talks about, think on these things. Yeah. What's the there true things, good the righteous things, things the yes. good things. Yes. If we're going to dwell on anything, yeah. that's what we need to be spending yeah. our time yes. dwelling on. Yeah. Definitely. And um, another thing I wanted to share with the ladies is mm -hmm. just that area of discouragement. And what I, had, what I learned is when I lose sight of the calling, that mm. God gave me. Oh, 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 oh. When I lose sight of that, that's good. That then I, yeah, then, is yeah, deep. Yeah, then I'm wondering why am I doing this? Mm. I don't want to be there. Yeah. I'm tired and I'm overwhelmed. And God said, Oof, He that's said, deep. Jackie, it is. did God call your husband a pastor? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Beyond the shout. Jackie, did God call you to be married to that man? I think about the circumstances that took place that brought us together. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Then, Jackie, God has a plan for mm. you yes. to be the pastor's wife in that context that mm. you're in. Yeah. Mm. And that pastor's wife that he wants you to be is who he's wired you yes. to be. I love it. In, your own, in my own strength, you know, it. in your own That's strength. Good. The yeah. giftedness that he's given to yep. me. Yes. And it may look different from another pastor's mm. wife. That's yeah. right. It may not line up with another pastor's wife, but that's not who I'm supposed to be. Right. I'm supposed to do me. And we ought to be right. okay in that. Yes. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. The other thing with ministry is we, we can lose sight of our vision. Mm. When we started our churches, mm. what was it that God wanted us to accomplish mm -hmm. with that wow. church? And you encounter in ministry so many obstacles yeah. that you can't, yeah. you can't enjoy the beauty of the forest <laughs> oh. for the trees that are right in yeah. front of you. Oh, and so God yeah. says, he, rem I, he reminds me to always go back to the vision. The, the oh, vision wow. is... That's to good. make disciples, yeah. to see people's lives change, right. to see people encouraged in the Word of God, That's to good. see women be strong in who they are, <laughs> yeah. confident in who they are, who God has called them yes. to be. Oh my goodness. And when we focus on on those things, yeah. then that mm. reminds us while mm. we're in the trenches, yes. that's the reason. <laughs> right. yes. That's the reason we're doing what we're doing. Stuff. we got to yes. stay on that. Calling and you know, staying and then, on point. And then lastly, yeah. it's staying in God's Word. Yeah. Yeah. Staying connected yeah. to the mm, Lord. We've got good. to stay connected to yeah. the Lord. So, yes. Talking to Him regularly. Yeah. Yes. Getting into His Word. Yes. Because that's where we draw strength. Yes. And that's, that's what helps us keep our perspective right. where it needs Definitely. to be. Definitely. Not wavering all out here. I know. The people. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's what keeps our perspective where it needs Excellent. to be. And God has he's, he's taught me so much. Right now, as I was sharing with you earlier, yeah. I'm transitioning from one season into another yeah. season. Yeah. And um, I'm rediscovering who I am in yeah. the Lord. Oh, we spent so much mm. time, you know, over the past <laughs> 20 years, I've been raising children, yes. still raising them. Yeah. <laughs> but we, they don't we, leave, we, Jackie. I know. <laughs> <laughs> they oh, come back. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they yes. They come back with their kids. <laughs> We support our husbands, we yes. raise our kids, we yeah. do ministry, and I found that in the midst of all of that, yeah. I lost 
myself. Mm. It's like, who yeah. is Jackie? Mm. Wow. I had to, to, to sit down and get along with God, you yes. know, and it was very, yeah. it was really a trying time. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and just seek, Lord, who is Jackie? I thought yeah. about the woman I was before, oh you know, marriage right. and children and ministry. Right. And I thought, well, I'm not that woman anymore, you know, yeah. you know, and, and wanting to get back to sure. that. Yeah. So, sure. so I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward and I encourage the women. Yeah. Seek the Lord. Yes. Mm -hmm. Seek the Lord. Um, you're, we're going to have ups and downs in Absolutely. ministry. If there's always going to be ups and downs, but God has us there for yeah. a purpose. He's called us there for a purpose. So, Jackie, where are you in the process of looking at Jackie? Where are you in the process? I know it's a process, but where yeah, are you now? Yeah, it's a process. I yeah. sat down and I yeah. wrote out my vision. So, okay, I listed good. just some oh, different things that I nice. wanted to be able to do. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, I said, Lord, I want to feel more comfortable sharing with other women okay. what you're doing in my life mm -hmm. and, and okay. how you're growing me. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be doing some teaching okay. coming up wow. in the fall. That's okay. a stretch for me. <laughs> and I am here at this table today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this nice. is a stretch for me. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. no, it's great. And that's so, great. Um, awesome. you know, I said, Lord, I, I could have easily said, oh, no, who's going to be here? No, no, yes. no. no. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I said, yeah. Lord, thank you for the opportunity. I'm still glad you said I'm yes. Say yes. 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 To offer say, Jack, you mm -hmm. always have. Mm -hmm. So I'm so Thank excited you, for your new Evans. season. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And yes, I'm gonna call yes. and check on you. See how yes. you're processing through the season. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm interested to learn Thank from you. Thank you. I'm interested to learn from you. Yeah. Yeah. I am really. Can I ask you what about managing emotions with ministry disappointments? Yeah. What do you and, think? And uh, you know, I feel like. The more I understand the expectations, yeah. I, I meant to say this, I feel okay. like the two go hand in hand. Okay. Mm -hmm. When yeah. we're not meeting the expectations that we've placed on ourselves yeah. or that we feel obligated to um, comply with that other people have placed on us, right. then we're disappointed. Okay. We're frustrated. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and as we conform those okay. expectations, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. that brings about the joy and the peace that the Lord has, has, has offered to right. us, yeah. that the Holy right. Spirit gives to us. Right. And um, when I was sharing about... Just letting you know your husband is on. Oh, good. Go right ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, babe. Go ahead, <laughs> Go right ahead Jackie. But um, again, focusing on the yeah. calling, yeah. focusing on the vision helps me manage mm. the disappointments. Got you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's good. That's sometimes all we have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all that's we have sometimes. Yeah, yeah, I remember in the early not. stages of our yeah. church, you know, to be quite honest, as I look at this camera, mm -hmm. I didn't want to go some Sundays. Mm -hmm. yes. And Tony told me, look, just come in and focus on me. Because mm -hmm. yeah. we're in this together. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, focus like on the Lord, that's... of course. Right. So I have my church before coming. Yeah. Right. But then when right. I actually got there, he says, when you walk in, you focus on me. Because mm -hmm. yes. we're in this together and I've got your back. Uh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. So, that's right. That's, that's really yes, important. That yeah, 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 is. Pastor. Come on, Pastor. <laughs> well, where are you? I don't see you following me. <laughs> He's on a plane somewhere. Anyway, Jack, I don't want to cut you off. Anything else you want? To... Uh, no. That's good stuff. No, no. That's good stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. God is... He's great. He yeah. Really is. He really is. And you've been yeah. at this 20 Keeping years, you said? Yes, 20 years. I was trying to do the math of the experience at... sitting at the table here. Okay. Wow. Our church is 14 yeah. years. 14, okay. Mm -hmm. So 14 I've been a pastor's years. wife for 14, 14 years. 14 years, but in ministry 20, yeah. Yes, but in ministry 20. Wow. And J wow. Jada, how many years for you? Our church just turned eight. Oh, we're, wow. We're like a preteen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Excellent. <laughs> for ministry about 20 Oh, you guys are busy years. and growing fast. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Allen, Texas. Go yeah, on, amazing. Yes. 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 Well, thanks for sharing. We'll yes. come back to you, though. Okay. Oh, okay. yeah, definitely. Okay. That was deep. Well, Sarita, it's your turn. Wow. Ministry. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about ministering along with your adult children. Um. Amazing. Yes, man. Yes. Miraculous. Mm -hmm. I tell you, um, my oldest are 37, and the girls are 29 and 28, mm -hmm. and T. Dexter just turned 21, 22, somewhere there in. Yeah. <laughs> After a while, you lose tight. But um, yeah. I tell you, when I got married to my husband, he was already pastoring. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. And mm -hmm. so I had a spell in ministry as a single woman, mm -hmm. and then I met my husband. Mm -hmm. So I had to realize that while God was working on him on this side of the mountain, God was preparing me on the other mm -hmm. side of the mountain. Mm -hmm. And so um, I had to be reassured that 
God knew me, mm -hmm. as Jeremiah said, before yeah. he formed me in my mommy's oh, belly. Right. He knew me, right. and he ordained me, and he set me aside. Yeah. And so I had to focus on that when I started entering into ministry with my husband. Mm -hmm. And um, I was nervous. Mm -hmm. I, I mm -hmm. didn't know what to wear. Mm -hmm. I thought I had to play. I thought <laughs> I had to make a sing. You know, sing. <laughs> I had to look like... Uh, a model at all times. <coughs> yeah. House had to look like good housekeeping. Yeah. Mm. Children had to be the best behaved mm. ever, yep. and they defied that on every hand. <laughs> yeah. And so, I mean, I had to just know, okay, so God, you chose me. You knew that I would be in this position. Mm -hmm. And I started walking <clears throat> with my husband and working in ministry um, as the women's director, always the women's ministry. I don't mm -hmm. know why. Mm -hmm. And then I found out when we moved to Dallas 21 years ago mm, that years it was a new <laughs> atmosphere mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. <sighs> mm -hmm. and I didn't know what to do mm -hmm. and how to feed the multiplicity of women that mm -hmm. came into our congregation. Yeah. Yeah. We could have women's ministry in my bedroom in West Virginia. Yeah. Okay. And so when we came to Dallas, I thought, how am I going to minister to these women? Mm -hmm. How can I put a blanket over everybody? It's almost like if I covered their head, their feet showed. Right. By, okay. You know, if okay. I covered their feet, their head would pop out. Right. And I just thought, this is a lot. This is mm. a lot. And God said, but remember, I ordained you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is my promise to you. I've got you, Sarita. Mm -hmm. And I started mm -hmm. ministering to the little girls mm -hmm. okay. yeah. because I thought I feared rejection from the older ladies. Okay. And so I started ministering to the little girls. Mm -hmm. wow. And it kind of made me feel a little bit more safe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and so I started wow. ministering to the little girls and created a program that the mothers started saying, we don't know proper etiquette. Mm -hmm. We don't know what to wear when. Mm -hmm. We don't know how to dress or, or be all the things yeah. that God is requiring of us. Mm -hmm. We need a program too. Yeah. And so I expanded my reach and started embracing everybody as a family. Mm -hmm. And then I found out that my blanket wasn't as small as I thought it was. Wow. That I could actually, mm -hmm. if in sincerity and in truth, mm -hmm. if I approached the women, they would receive me. Mm -hmm. And so I did that, yeah. and I got very excited about all of that. Yeah. And then, boom, tragedy started hitting our family. Mm -hmm. um, my mother died. Mm -hmm. My husband's mother died. Wow. My baby girl got pregnant. Mm -hmm. And I thought, what? Who's bewitched us? Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh my God, surely this can't be mm. valid spiritual warfare. Yeah. But it was. Yeah. And my wow. immediate instinct was to huddle my family. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And protect them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. And from mm -hmm. the media, from the saints and the ain'ts, yeah. I mean, I just had to, you know, just embrace yeah, them and huddle them yeah. and let them know that regardless of what you've done mm -hmm. yeah. or who mm -hmm. you've done it with, yeah. I love you. Mm -hmm. Right. And I do. Mm -hmm. And I thought I'll fight everybody. I mean, I know mm -hmm. this isn't really holy or anything like that. Yeah. It's real. But, but let me tell you. <laughs> yes. You come yes. for the family. Yeah. yeah. They're children, they make mistakes, okay? Yeah. And so we, yeah. we told the, our congregation, we hold the same standard yeah. for our children that we hold for your children. Right. The same forgiveness that we've offered your children, right. we offer our children. Right. And they kind of got it mm -hmm. and stood with us on it, <coughs> and it was okay. necessary. And then, so the kids, after they saw that it wasn't, the ministry against them, mm -hmm. yeah. they yeah. started standing up and assuming their own places in ministry. Okay. That's great. I never thought that my daughters, I call them Pebbles and Bam Bam, mm -hmm. just as <laughs> reckless as they could be, creative, mischief, all the time, would now be preaching. Mm. Wow. Yeah. You know, yeah. and I wow. thought, now look at this. Yeah. The same babies that I had to hold when yes. they were hurting mm -hmm. now cradle me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's it's beautiful. a beautiful yep. thing yeah. for your children to turn around yeah. Yeah. and be one out of the ten that comes back and says thank you. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it just fills my heart with joy. Yeah. Yeah. And so I just I uh, watch the girls, mm. and Sarah's now married to a pastor, yeah. so yeah. I call her my first lady yeah. because she's doing a, a tremendous job there in right. L.A. And then Cora, 
who's the children's pastor, has a word, and she's strong like her daddy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, she's got that roar, okay. you know, and I've got kind of a little purr going. Yeah. But um, it's just wonderful mm -hmm. to see them mm -hmm. uh, in the same place that they felt that they were mostly wounded, mm -hmm. to come back and take a stand wow. in that same place. Wow. Yes. Amazing. Praise you stopped the in the midst of ministry to love them. Yeah. I, let me tell you, oh my I did. Yeah. Wow. I did. I'm like, I'm not going to church today. Oof. Baby's on complete bed rest, yes. mm. and if she needs somebody, it's going to be me. Yes, Away yes. with the nanny ship. Yes. Mm -hmm. I got this. Yeah, yes. I'm mommy. Amen. Yes. Amen. And I did. My husband let me too. He yes. allowed me to. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, because he knew that my heart would be there, mm -hmm. right. and anyway. so he allowed yeah. me mm -hmm. anyway. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. So I was there with mm -hmm. him all the way through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm delighted for. Um, a uh, conversation yeah. like this where we can be transparent yeah, definitely. because the ladies yeah. need us yeah. to be transparent. Yes. And um, that's one of your greatest strengths. All of your strengths are strengths, even if it's a weaker strength. Mm. But when there's a congregation mm -hmm. like this, two or three of us together, yeah, yeah. touching and agreeing on anything that concerns you, yeah. we got you. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Thank you. So in the midst Amen. of ministry, women, no matter how busy you are, mm -hmm. your first church is your family. My first ministry mm -hmm. is, is my husband. Oh, my mm -hmm. goodness. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. That's my first ministry. Yes. And if daddy's okay then the kiddos will be okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I wasn't even drawn to the stage. Mm -hmm. I always wanted, I was in drama in school, but yeah. I always wanted to be behind the scenes, mm -hmm. directing, telling everybody mm -hmm. what to do. Yeah. So I made a real good usher board president. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you go over there yeah. and sit. Yeah. So, but um, I, I, yeah. just, I really wow. was not drawn to that light because yeah. with that light comes such heat. Mm. Yeah. And oh. scrutiny. Uh oh, tweet, tweet, yeah. tweet. And everybody's drawn to the <laughs> stage. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. Everybody wants the light, yes. but no one wants the heat. Mm -hmm. Wow. So we went through the deaths of our parents mm. on stage. Mm. Wow. Mm. And I needed healing myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A wounded healer. Wow. Oh my goodness. It's amazing, yeah. but we, I mean, as long as we got girlfriends yeah. and someone that we can talk to, uh, my pastor's wife said, it's a lonely life, Sarita. Mm. Yes. Mm. I thought, so lonely? Yeah. You've got all you of these realize. people yeah. around yeah. you. Yes, How yes. can it be lonely? Yeah. Yeah. It's a lonely life because you just don't know who to talk to. Sure, sure. Yeah. So how do you walk through w w being wounded mm. in the heat? Well, being in the heat, mm -hmm. in front of people that are needing you. Mm. That's, you I guess, do. my question. That How is, in the world that, do you do that? Lady, oh. Lois, it was difficult. Yeah. Because a lot of people will try you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. You know, just to see how deep that Holy Ghost well is. Mm. And, you know, okay. and sometimes you can get a bucket of water out of that well, and sometimes you can only get a drop. Okay. And they could sense that okay. Okay. and not pull on me. <clears throat> mm. You know, and one lady told me, she said, now it's time for you to do what you taught us, pray. Oh, mm. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really, precious lamb? <laughs> you want? Do you want to do this on a Sunday morning? <laughs> do you want to see me under the yeah, yeah, under the <laughs> yeah. I wanted to yes. get under a pew, <clears throat> oh, wow. but God gave me the strength yeah. to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I thought when mm. my mama died, I said, "To be absent in the body is to be present with the Lord." Yeah. Right. Yeah. So even when I lose. I win. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. Yeah. Another tweet moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's difficult. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. It is. How about adjusting to ministry, the wife of a pastor? That was really interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because he was pastoring when we got married. And yeah. he was mastering, uh, pastoring a lot of women that were um, aspiring. Mm. To be past yeah, his wife. Oh. His wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's got the words. Yeah, I love it. I mean, <laughs> aspiring to be his wife. Yeah. So if I was walking into uh, yeah. from another church, another okay, city, okay. you know, right into uh, the Temple wow. of Faith. 
and um, not everyone was glad to mm-hmm. receive me mm-hmm. with a hearty amen. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I kind of shied away. Yeah. I didn't want to be controversial. Mm-hmm. I didn't okay. want to be confrontational. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, the sisters just roll up on you anyway. You yeah, know? Right. They are bold. They, they are bold. bold. Yes, yes. yes. Is that another class? <laughs> <laughs> Boldly. Oh, yeah. Just roll yeah. up like, Pastor can't have this, and Pastor can't have that. Ah, and I would be oh sitting my. there thinking like, Ooh. Baby girl, mm. <laughs> you don't even know. You don't even know. You don't even know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I just kind of had to learn how to yeah. the truth. kill Eve again. Kill Eve. <laughs> She was rearing up. Oh my goodness! It's yeah. all about ease. So we have to let they, they just think you're godly all the time. Okay. What is like, that? Oh, no. You know, a there's a person. part of me yeah. before I knew Jesus. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Why are you trying to stir it up? Yeah. yeah. Really? I mean, yeah. they do. They stir it up. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to stay delivered. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying, trying to trying. stay delivered. He yeah. delivers me daily. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Women, just a few minutes ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Roll right up at you. I had a. Yeah. It's so funny. <laughs> and a, this is a funny story. Mm-hmm. Well, it was funny to me. Um, this lady ran from the back of our church mm. up to my seat, looked me full in the face, and said, "Oh, well, we're all gray now." I said, "Oh, no, oh man. Good morning." <laughs> the Lord. The Lord just gave me a sense of humor that day. But then when I went yeah. home, I thought, "Did she come all the way oh, from right. the back to the front to tell yes. me I'm gray?" Yes. <laughs> But um, yeah, yep. try to knock you down. A try to knock you down yeah. before Someone before work. service. Starts. Before service, yeah. <laughs> Someone work. told my anyway. husband one nope, day. Doesn't work at all. That, uh, that the Lord told her he was her husband. Okay, we were already married. I was like, <laughs> you, oh, you can at least <laughs> look for the wedding ring. I mean, she just, you know, I've been praying about this, and the Lord told Ooh. me, <laughs> and he was like, I don't know what Lord that is. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Lord wow. case L. That's what, yeah. <laughs> somebody else. Yeah. And yeah, they'll try it. Wow. They will. They will. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. yeah. 30, I think, yeah. 35 years later. Mm. Wow. Mm. Amen. I'm like, just trying it. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's good to have a friend mm-hmm. that you can talk yeah. to. Yeah. To be honest you can with. Walk with mm-hmm. who, yeah. who sees mm-hmm. things objectively. Exactly. And it is hard for the pastor's wife to have mm-hmm. that friend. Sure. But when you don't have that, then mm-hmm. you're processing the weight oh, yeah. of these situations right. and these mm-hmm. issues. And it's effort. hard to vent down. Yeah. Okay. You yeah, know, because you, you can. cannot. You can't. And so you always have to find um, mm-hmm. someone that you can vent up to mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. realizes mm-hmm. how. Um, painful it is yeah. sometimes mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. be alone. Sure, yeah. sure. Absolutely. That's a good Definitely. Word. Yeah. That's good. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you so much. Well, Jada, it's mm-hmm. your turn. But well, let me say hi to a few people before we move on. Patricia Ashley's on. <laughs> a lot Miss of us know Ashley. Patricia. Patricia has her own live web event, I think every Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, cool. So you guys follow her. And then I saw Kokisha Bailey Robinson mm-hmm. now, mm-hmm. E.K. Okay. Bailey's daughter. Yes, she's, <laughs> oh, she's nice. on. Hey, Kokisha. And Shelly's on, and Melissa, I see you guys. Thanks so much for following us today. Yes. Send your questions in. I forgot to say that when we started. We will eventually get to a point where we want to answer your questions. <laughs> We're now answering questions, though, from a survey that we did okay. on our Facebook network okay. group. So we've got a lot of your questions that we're answering now, but we want to answer more mm-hmm. in a few minutes. So send your questions in, and we'll do our best. You mm-hmm. have probably 100 years of ministry experience sitting at this table. Isn't that I something? Know. That's something. Amazing. So send your questions in and we'll do our best to answer them Amen. and be as real as we can Amen. of what God is doing in our lives and in our ministry and that of our children. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, Jada. Mm. All right. <laughs> Serving alongside people who don't like you. I think we almost got to that. Mm. <laughs> or don't have the best <laughs> interests of the ministry in mind. Ooh. Go ahead, Jada. Well, You're released well, well. to speak. Yes. <laughs> Use her, Lord. This is... The filtered version. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, first of all, no, I'm yes. kidding. My, t- my husband says he knows when it's not about to go well when I start numbering my points. First of all. Yes. Um, okay. <laughs> so serving, serving alongside people that you don't like. Mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna deal with that a little separately okay. than the ministry issue because sometimes the two are not combined. Okay. Sometimes it's just a person that you don't connect with because you don't connect with everybody. Okay. Um, okay. And especially the larger your ministry grows, mm-hmm. the smaller the amount of people that you actually connect with. You okay. know. Yeah. And that yeah. just means okay. that you like them, and and you, you're not less godly and less Christ-like if you don't like everybody. 
Uh, there are people that you'll have to serve with that you don't want to have lunch with. You're like, I, I okay. just want to have a meeting okay. at the conference table at church. I don't, okay. I, don't, I don't want to bring you into my social time or my family time okay. because it, this is either not a healthy relationship or for whatever reason there's not an affinity there. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, I put That's down good. some thoughts about how to really interact with those people because as a pastor's wife, I think what has been my biggest challenge is I don't, you don't get the privilege or the benefit of just writing them off. Um, when you're when you're in the church, right. you can just decide who you're going to associate with. Right. But um, very often, uh, the Lord will bring people that you don't really get along with, yeah. and they're the ones that need something from you. Yeah. yeah, and you can't say, you know, I don't really like you. Can you go talk to <laughs> somebody? <laughs> you just you have can. you can't. Well, yeah, you can, not. but you should. You're right. <laughs> you're right. You're right. You can't. And so I've really been challenged in, in our in our time in ministry mm -hmm. to to really lead them with love. Mm -hmm. And and, mm -hmm. you know, it's the same thing, I think, with people even in your own family, in your mm -hmm. blood family. That's There's true. people that are connected to you yeah. uh, that yeah. you really have some sense of responsibility for or obligation for. But you might not like everyone in your family. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I, I try to see them if, if it's just an affinity issue. Mm -hmm. we, we might not get along together. You might not be my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. um, then I try to see it as you're in my family. And so I'm still mm. called to lead you and love you. Uh -huh. yeah. And so I do that really uh, by first listening. Okay. And, and that means I have to sometimes force myself to spend a little bit of time with people yeah. that, I, that I don't particularly have an affinity for, right. you know? Right. And so right. mm -hmm. because uh, one thing the Lord has shown me many, many times is when you know someone's story, yes. it changes everything. Wow, that's good. And so the person yeah. that you like the least, yeah. when you start yes. to know their testimony, things they've walked through, yes. it changes everything. Yeah. I've met yeah. people, and, and I remember a young lady in particular early in, in, the, in our church planting years when we were in the hotel, sitting up and tearing down and mm. all that good stuff, and she just... She just rubbed me wrong mm -hmm. all the time. Uh -huh. And I would go sit in my car. I'm like, is it me? Is it? What is it? And um, finally, one day I said, you know what? I need to I need to hang out with her and go mm -hmm. to lunch. And it was, you're talking um, about praying before the lunch. I, yeah. like, <laughs> I do not want to have this lunch. So that's like, wow, I knew it was the yeah. Lord because it wasn't, it wasn't me. And so I, we had this lunch. And let me tell you, <clears throat> by the time I learned her story, mm -hmm. that she had never had a mother who ever told her she loved her, that she had a mother who lived a lifestyle where she wow. pretty much raised herself from the age of six, wow. that she raised her siblings. I mean, just wow. all of these things. Yeah. I was like, oh, you're doing well. Yeah. Just, mm -hmm. just to be, oh, wow. you know, you just kind of have an attitude, you yeah. know, but you should yes. be certified yeah. <laughs> insane somewhere. You know, right. you shouldn't be dealing with serious mental <laughs> disorder. Wow. And she just, you know, she had her little rough edges, but yeah. I'm telling you, once I got to know her story, yeah. uh, it changed well, everything. And, and the Lord yeah. has really reminded me. Mm -hmm. He said, Jada, I don't see everyone's face. I don't see what you see. I see their story. Yes. And, mm. and, and to be able to love people like you know their story. Yes. And People so sometimes to that, I, Jada, they're tweeting about that. Oh, know their well, story. amen. Go ahead. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because Go sometimes ahead. I meet a stranger and I don't have the time to have lunch and get to yeah. know you. And if I don't connect with you or something rubs me wrong, mm -hmm. I have to mm -hmm. say to myself, know Jada, story. if you found out their whole story, mm -hmm. wow. you, you would That's treat good. them differently. Yeah. So now mm -hmm. in maturity and with yeah. grace, yeah. Treat them like you already know their story. Mm. Treat them like oh, you already know good. their testimony. Even if you don't know what it is, everybody has something, yeah. you know, that would story. that would pull on your heartstrings, right. yeah. you know. And That's so, right. that listening time and mm -hmm. and yes. listening to them, if you can, or listening to the Lord, because He'll give you insight. Yes. He'll say this person may not be likable, or this person may always have an attitude, or this person mm. may seem this way. But let me tell you what you don't see. That's yeah. Right. Let me tell you what they're working really hard to cover. Yes. Wow. And then as as a pastoral figure, because even though we're women, we still yeah. have a pastoring role, sure. mm -hmm. then you get to love them. And I'm going to tell you, watching the walls break down wow. from love, yeah. yes. you know, rather than, <laughs> than separation mm -hmm. is yes. just one of the greatest joys. Yeah, I'm so That's great. really listening to them and, 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 and asking God, Lord, give me the discernment and wisdom and love yeah. so I can treat them like I know their story. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's um, good. Knowing stuff. the story. Yes. Uh, now, I like that. 
Now I'm gonna have to flip on the flip side. That's All the right. Nice. <laughs> that's, that is the good. That's the good way. Yes, ma'am. And on the flip side, though, there there has also been some times where we've had to go before the Lord, and then you get into now not just whether you get along with the person, but their heart for the ministry, mm -hmm. what yes. their spirit is. Yeah. And it's a really good book, and I think it's called A House Divided or Unity. And I need to find the name of the book so I can tell you, but okay. this man deals with the three primary spirits that come up in your church. Okay. The choral spirit, mm -hmm. um, which is the energetic person, but they like divisiveness. We see that in the book of Numbers. Mm -hmm. The Absalom spirit, which is the complaining. They always go against authority. Mm -hmm. And the Jezebel spirit, which Oops. is not just sexual, uh, mm -hmm. just the domineering, controlling mm -hmm. of men, belittling of men, mm -hmm. wants yeah. lots of relationships with men. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, even if it's not overtly sexual. And so <laughs> flipping that now, when yeah. we've seen people yeah. who wow. have had, Ooh. don't have the ministry's best interest at heart. Right, right. We have to ask the question, is this just immaturity or is there really wow. a spirit of manipulation? Wow. And let me tell you, we were about six months old, yeah. still meeting in a hotel, and we had to execute church discipline. Wow. <laughs> I said, Lord Jesus, <laughs> yeah. this is not how you grow your church mm -hmm. by you know, having to administer church discipline. But there was a, a person in our church whose spirit was just... It, it was causing so much tension. And in okay, those early years okay. when you're trying to build your right, church, you right. just take you're everybody. Like, yeah. nobody leave. Yeah. We're, yeah. we're trying yes. to grow. Yeah. <laughs> and I know you're Don't a little, leave. you have some issues, but just stay. We, yeah. can, we can work it out. You yes, know? Yes. And, uh, <laughs> and, and, and let me tell True. you, there are things that by faith, you need to let go of because the favor is in the letting go and not the holding on. Oh, yeah. Tweet. Because, oh, tweet, the, tweet, because tweet. the Lord, the Lord <laughs> told us, you need yeah. to let this person go. Yeah. Yes. Let them go. Wow. And we just wanted the That's people good. and we needed it. And he yes. said, okay, yes. you didn't let them go. I'm going to let this blow up in your face. Oh, wow. And by the grace oh, of God, goodness. it was the grace of God. Oh that he let that blow up in our face wow. in year one yeah, okay. because it's never yeah. happened again. Oh, so now right. when he says, let them go, we're like, yeah. okay, we need to have a talk. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. We need to, we need to re reposition you. Yeah. Um, we didn't let Very them good. go, and uh, the Lord allowed that person to do some damage oh, to wow. some women in our church. Okay. And it was a male, but he had the Jezebel spirit. Yeah. And okay. Okay. manipulating women, um, mm. using them financially, yeah. emotionally. It was just a mess, sure. yeah. a mess. And uh, the Lord said, look, n none of you here are a savior. You cannot fix this. Yeah. I need to deal with him directly. Yes. Okay. You need to let him go. And yeah. so on wow. the flip side, yes. when you see people who don't have the ministry's heart, <clears throat> they don't have the... the they don't have the desire to echo the vision and the mm, voice. Echo the vision. Mm. Love that. You know, um, yeah. one of our very good mentors told us, said, look, mm. the lead pastor of like this that. house is the voice. Ooh. And everybody else is the echo. Mm. And if they are trying to have I their like own it. voice, yes. if they are trying to have their own voice, Ooh. this is not about being controlling or authoritarian. Right. This is about order. Yes. They're trying to have their own I voice. Like mm. You better shut it down yeah. in the name of Jesus uh, yes. <laughs> with love and quickly. Ooh. Because when the Lord gives yes. you that that awareness mm -hmm. and you ignore it, mm -hmm. uh -oh. he will step back and say, if you think you know best, know. And, know. and then you'll say, oh, it was the devil. No, mm -hmm. it was the Lord. He yes. let that thing yes. fester yeah. because you didn't obey. Right. And so there's two wow. sides to that, dealing with people who right. you may not get along with or right. may not have the heart of the ministry. And that is my first goal is always listen, yeah. try to know their story um, because there's there's. I'm sure there's people who don't like me, and that's because they don't know me. They only sure. get one side of me. Yes. They don't know and your so story. Treat yep. them like you know their story. And if yes. you can get to know their story, do it. Yes. Um, and on the flip side, still mm -hmm. be discerning. Because yeah. if they really have a heart that's against the ministry, right. um, you, you got to deal with that yes. firmly. Yes. With love, uh, the Bible gives us full authority right. yeah. yes. to, to get rid of those negative spirits right. in our church. Yes. And, and let me tell you something. Mm. As you're celebrating growth, you better wow. know that those spirits come with growth. Yes. You know, uh, yes. you know yeah. oh my goodness. more levels, more devils. <laughs> That's just how it happens. Sweet. So every time you, you want to add <laughs> another, another I mean, I was listening to oh uh, a goodness. pastor say, he said, you, every hundred people you're yes. adding in your church, yeah. 
usually five to seven of them have a negative spirit. Okay. So when you want to grow your church, uh, yeah. it's not just numbers. It's not just uh, more. Right. There's a responsibility that comes with that because oh, wow. you're not getting a hundred new people who are on fire for Jesus and want to support you. Right, right. There's right. people that come with, with ulterior motives. And so yeah. Yeah. there's two sides to that yeah. coin, yeah. to yes. try to listen and love, but mm -hmm. then to also be firm and, yes. and remove people when they need to be removed. Yes. Yeah. So could we have friends in the church? I know I didn't ask you this before the show. You know, <laughs> You know, I always, can answer. I when I've answered this before and I say, not really, okay. then the people at the church who are my friends are like, wait a minute, we're really different. <laughs> and and right. so they are my friends. Okay. I do have people who are beyond acquaintances. Right. Okay, got it. Um, yeah. But but in my mind, I'm yeah. always their pastor's wife. Yeah. Okay. And okay. so okay. I, I always yeah. feel a need to care for them okay. and try to guide them, yeah. even if we're being girlfriends. Right. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. And then I also feel restraint gotcha. in okay. how much I want to share with them okay. yeah. because I am trying to balance transparency and authenticity right. yeah. with giving mm. them a burden that they were not designed to carry. Mm. Right. I don't right. want them to have to sit and listen to my pastor teach listen to my husband teach, listen yeah. to me teach, listen to me sing, listen to us lead, right. and process the weight of our personal life. Gotcha. And so Very it's good. really Very more good. out of consideration. I'm not trying to be closed. No. I just, yeah. I, I say, God hasn't called you to get, bear this burden, yeah. Yeah. to know all mm. these things about mm. these leaders mm. and mm. still submit to us as leaders. Very good. Yeah. And so yeah. I have to be careful so I can be truthful, yes. Yes. but it's not full disclosure. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, I live and die by my tribe. It's mm. my, my, my girlfriends that yeah. are not oh, in our yes. church, yeah. which Priscilla is, <laughs> is a part of. And guys hang these out are girlfriends I've yeah. had for, you know, 20 something years. Yeah, I and know. They're my people. Yeah. And we can vent and yeah, we have our group texts. Yes. And yeah. they know that no matter what I say, yeah. that I love my husband, I'm staying with my church. And, yes. I, you know, yes. I just That's have good. a crazy day. Right. And so, yes, yeah. you can have people who are your beyond acquaintances, yeah. you know, that yeah. you want to have dinner with and sure, over to your sure, house. Sure. Mm -hmm. But I think you have to be very careful. Um, with who you are, who you fully disclose with, right? And ladies, That's I don't good. mean being emotionally distant. Okay, sure. I'm not saying That's to good. harden yourself. Right, right. You can be truthful, yeah, but maybe not 100% sure, transparent sure. because God didn't call them to bear your burden. Mm, he called you to bear wise. theirs. Yeah. <laughs> so Very you have to be, be not wow. self-centered in saying, "I just need to unload this." Wow. Right. He's saying now is not the time or place. Yeah. You find a safe that. place to do that. I so. think that you've yeah. been in ministry longer than eight years, girl. Look here, I've been under your tutelage. So the wisdom, the glory. You got a lot of lot of wisdom coming out. I really appreciate that. Wasting. I encourage your husband, Jada, to take a break from ah, ministry to reevaluate. Yes, How in us. the world do you teach get y'all? Wait a minute. Edwards. <laughs> I should turn this into a survey. <laughs> <laughs> because hopefully you will all chime in. Oh, um, yeah, we can. We can. Please, yeah. because I just think, yeah. I, I, well, How do you get that, him to that take a That is a, a challenge. Break. Yes. Yeah. The first thing I would okay. say is to be discerning about when they really need a break. Okay. Because my husband is a very driven, like a lot of our husbands, like a lot of your husbands are. They mm. wouldn't have started churches yeah. and be pastoring churches. What looks like, um, when it looks like my husband needs a break to me, because if my life looked like that, I would need a break. He doesn't always <laughs> need a break. He's okay. like, I'm good. Yeah. This is what drives me. I, yeah. I, I'm going. I'm, yeah. I'm all yeah. pistons are firing and he's in a great place. So I have to be yeah. very discerning about that. Okay. But then I also take a level of ownership to really prayerfully and spiritually try to guide him right. toward health. Mm -hmm. Not that he's not his own person, but Proverbs 31.10 says the heart of her husband trusts her yes. and he lacks no gain. Yes. Yes. That, that, that all the gain that he has yeah. is irrelevant if he can't trust his wife oh, to be wow. his safe place. Yeah. Yes. And so yeah. sometimes I just check in and I say, how's wow. it going? I, yeah. know, I know the language of my husband wow. when things are going well. Mm -hmm. And I know when that language changes. Yes. When he goes yes. from, oh, I got these sermons, I'm planning this series, yes. I'm working on this, <laughs> and it changes to, it's almost Sunday. You know, oh, yeah. Sunday mm -hmm. is coming. Because let me tell you, Sundays keep coming. Yeah. They, come <laughs> they, do, right? they keep coming. And they come fast. They keep coming. <laughs> and so I can tell yeah. when his language changes okay. from that excitement yeah. to, I just need to press through. Right. And so then I'll say, when is our Sabbath? When are we okay. taking a break? Okay. And, good, I, and, I dis and we, dis we discuss, uh, do yeah. we need to break together? Okay. Or do we need to break okay. separately? That's my next yeah. question. Because let ahead. me tell you, yeah. he knows when I need Sabbath, Yes. self-Sabbath, yes. <laughs> not spouse-Sabbath. Yeah. 
Okay. You need both. And okay. there's times yeah. that he recharges differently than the way I recharge. And okay. so well, he needs that time. And sometimes if you catch it early, yeah. it can take one day. Yeah. Yeah. One day. Yeah. Okay. Just, and for him, recharging is studying. <laughs> Yeah. Listening yeah. to other folks' yeah. sermons, I'm like, sir, <laughs> I, look here, I don't see a magazine, <laughs> I don't see a book, I yes. don't know what kind of recharging sure. you're doing. So, yeah. so he'll do it, and if, if we can catch it early and, yeah. and, and really handle it, it can be knocked out pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, and then we plan for big things, okay. something to look forward to. Yeah. You know, he called yeah, right. me <laughs> a month ago, he said, okay. June such and so he wrote the dates down and he's <laughs> like thinking because he knows when we're we're taking vacation we're yeah, going ten yeah, days good, and good. that gives us that thing to push toward you yes. know because yes. then it's coming yes. and you're looking at people yes. and they yes. work in your nerves and you're yes. like June yes. June <laughs> you, just, you got June in your mind yes. you're like yes. my love you for it's four coming. more months yes. and then I'm gonna take a break you know <laughs> and you need it it's you coming. need the thing that you're working yes, toward and so that'll good. be our time that's together so that's been helpful for us and I would say you know find a rhythm so you're not responding to crisis okay. Work Good. in a oh Sabbath lifestyle, so you don't yeah. work. You don't wait until burnout. Yeah. That's not responsibility. Oh when God, God is giving you a calling, don't wait mm. until you are on the ledge. Yeah. Yeah. What is your oh rhythm? Yes. Um, is it once a week this that you take four hours, up. and then once a month you take a whole day, yeah. and then every six months you take oh a whole no. week? What oh is your oh rhythm yes. so that you can be yeah. preventative and not wait? <sighs> Y'all, the enemy yes. would love for you to go hard yes. if he knows you're going to burn out. Yes. He, so he doesn't even true. care what you wow. get done in six months. If he knows, mm. you're no good for the rest of the year. Oh, wow. Yeah. Where the oh Lord will say, gosh. pace yourself. Because yes. Jesus withdrew. Yes. He withdrew Didn't often he? Yeah. He to withdrew. a lonely and desolate yes. place. And he yes. would say, look, I need to go be before yes. the Lord. Yes. I've just poured oh. out. Now I need to get poured back into. And so yeah. and he was you, you Jesus. That, he and was he Jesus. withdrew. Right. Oh, my. And so <laughs> find the rhythm. Yes. Find the rhythm. I love that. I love you. said Sabbath lifestyle. Lifestyle. And I'm going to say one last note really quickly. If you're if marriage is rough for you right now, mm -hmm. um, sometimes the strain of ministry mm -hmm. makes it difficult to yeah, talk to sure. our husbands about those things. Even sure. though the Lord has burdened us and yeah. said your husband needs a break, mm -hmm. we're not in a good place relationally. Okay, oh, no. okay. Pray for him. Okay. Amen. Find people who can influence him. Mm -hmm. If you're not in a place where you and your husband can talk well, mm -hmm. maybe there's not trust, trust has been broken, yeah. you still have the responsibility of his care. Okay. Um, wow. The, oh, the heart of her husband is still in your hands, oh. even if you're in discord. Wow. And so when my husband my and I goodness. have had moments and we're not connecting well, mm. I call his friends, I call his pastors, his mentors, yeah. and I say, you need to call your boy. He's yeah. doing too much. <laughs> yeah. I do. Yeah. I tell him. Doing the most. And then, you know, once we're back. Back in our good place, he'll be right. like, did you tell someone? Like, yes, I sure did. Yeah. Because mm. we don't have to like each other right now, but I love you forever. Right. And so right. even while we're working out our stuff, yes. I still know, I still have a burden to be your wife. And Absolutely. so oh, I want to encourage good. you that if marriage is not yeah. all peachy right now, mm. you can still care for your husband's heart. Oh, wow. Um, call his influencers oh, and his friends and, and have them talk to him. Because it doesn't matter who says it. Mm. It doesn't matter that it get done. Good stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. Good stuff, Jada. Go ahead and preach. Hello. <laughs> Let's take off. Let's take off now. <laughs> no, but really, good. just to be encouraged, because sometimes yes. I think we think marriage has to be perfect oh, in order for boy. us to still support in ministry. Yeah. And that's yeah. just not realistic. Yeah. We've yes. learned how to serve alongside each other in the midst of conflict. Yeah. I've learned Ooh. how to support him mm. when we don't like each other. Yeah. Wow. And we're like, you know what, we're going to talk about this later, but yeah. we got to go to church. Yeah. <laughs> and, right. you know, we're not pushing it under the rug. Sure. We just can't right. fix it right now. And so wow. how do we still love and support when there's tension? Yeah. Yes, because that's yes. just realistic, and you, you can't come to a stop. And you, you have a figure. safe place to go as a couple. That's a, yep. And that's so important, to I find like a safe place to go as a couple. Mm -hmm. If you go to our mm -hmm. website, loisevans.org, there's a resource guide on there where we've provided counselors all over the country. Mm -hmm. So yeah. for some of counseling, you who are not comfortable yes. going to counseling in your city, yes. Yes. I really want to encourage you to go across state lines. Mm -hmm. yes. But go so talk to good. somebody. If you don't have a safe group, mm -hmm. like Jada yeah. and her mm -hmm. husband have provided for themselves, mm -hmm. if you don't have a safe place mm -hmm. where you can share, you need to go across state lines. Mm -hmm. Go somewhere and talk to someone. I've got friends you can go online to. I'm mm -hmm. sure many of you do. Dr. Gloria Morrows, mm -hmm. she's a clinical psychologist, mm -hmm. well-trained. I've got Dr. Melissa Jones. Call them. Go mm -hmm. online, but reach yes. out. Amen. So God can heal mm -hmm. the situation mm -hmm. in your home and in your marriage. Mm -hmm. It's so important. The Barn Report reports. The Barn Report gives a report that 55% of marriages in the pew. I'm sorry, on the stage, mm -hmm. pastors and wives mm -hmm. are struggling. Mm -hmm. 
Some of them are, yeah, are mm-hmm. attending churches and not even talking to each yep. other. Yeah, but just been, keeping the show going. Yep. Yeah. You need to go talk to somebody, mm-hmm. someplace, mm-hmm. so you can heal your marriage and heal your relationship. This is being rich, Jada. Yeah. Something else? I see it. I see it. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I want to yeah, hear. I really want to hear from no. yes. the other ladies on how yes. you encourage your husband to take a break. Because I think yeah. we're all a little... I mean, it may be the same, but I think everybody yeah. needs to hear that. Sure. Yeah. Knowing yeah. how to yeah. 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 tell him to sit yeah. down. Yes. <laughs> Because my husband, he's like yeah. your husband, he's, yeah. he's very driven, and, okay. and he did work himself into a place uh, about a year ago okay. for the first time yeah. in, in, in all of ministry, in all yeah. the years he's been doing ministry, where where he was discouraged, okay. you know, he sure. was wore down, yeah. overwhelmed, yeah. and looking back mm. over the years prior, yes. we had started missing vacations, oh, we had gotcha. started, you know, okay. focusing so much yeah. on the ministry yeah. that we weren't mm-hmm. um, spending time, even going out to eat on a regular gotcha. basis, yeah. just spending oh, that stuff. time together, yeah. mm-hmm. and um, and that really wore him down. Yeah. And so he mm-hmm. had to, you know, spend just time away with the Lord. Mm-hmm. And um, I asked Wise. him, you know, well, how do you want me to encourage you? So yeah. because when he starts talking about, like you said, you can see when the language changes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He starts getting very you know, negative and mm-hmm. maybe saying a few things. Yeah. I ask him, how can I encourage mm-hmm. you? Yeah. He says, you know what, babe, just pray. Mm-hmm. I just need to know that you're praying. Yeah, I absolutely. just need to know yeah. that you're praying mm-hmm. for me. And I, mm-hmm. I can do that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I can Excellent. do that. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Very good. Yeah, and your yeah. prayers as a wife are more powerful than anybody else's prayers. Yes. Anybody else's yes. yes. Anybody else's yes. I think we forget that. Yeah. 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 It doesn't yeah, matter if do. the elders are praying, mm-hmm. and his right. friends are praying, yeah. if his mm-hmm. network of people are praying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The heart of her husband. Yeah, that yeah. the Lord has that given right you, yeah. Yes. Yeah. giving yes. you care for His heart, yeah. not yeah. anybody yeah. else. Yes. Yes. And so your prayers, yeah. they they availeth much. They really, really do. And yes. so, yeah, definitely huge thing. So we yes. scheduled some vacations. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. we already got them laid out. Like <laughs> Even when said. they're far away, you're excited. Yeah. 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 Every time I think about it, I am excited. <laughs> yes. That's right. That's right. Ours is July kind of, and August. Yes, there you go. It kind of rolls right into my question: the importance of making a marriage a priority. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. your times together, I'm saying, has to be planned. Just like you just yeah, said. Yes. You have to be planned. Mm-hmm. It can't be random mm-hmm. or it'll mm-hmm. never it'll happen. Never happen. Mm-hmm. Right. Because sure. there's so many needs. And like, like we're all saying, our yes. husbands are so driven. Yes. So are we. Then, and yes. the needs are so great yeah. mm-hmm. yes. that if you don't plan to get away, as you mentioned, June, mm-hmm. July or whatever, yeah. it's just not going to happen. So mm-hmm. the folks that the Lord has given us to help us run our lives kind of, mm-hmm. and we all have assistance in our lives, mm-hmm. they know the dates that we're not here. Yes. In fact, they re- when we sit down and have a calendar meeting, mm-hmm. they remind us, you, you're not supposed to be here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They I remind know. us of the times that we that. have yes. planned, so yes. it's not random. So mm-hmm. yes. I think it needs to be planned. Um, mm-hmm. Tony makes a statement that I like, you marry to date. Mm-hmm. Yes. You don't yes. just date to marry. Yes. So oh, I think I like it. we can get so busy in ministry that we stop yeah. dating. And you just mentioned that, just going mm-hmm. to dinner. And it doesn't yeah. have to be fancy, no. you know, it depends no. on, I'm talking to women, we all have different budgets and right. things like that. Right. Um, mm-hmm. You could just set aside a time where you're just communicating as a couple yes. mm-hmm. and not about the ministry. Yes. <laughs> and yes. that's hard because you got to keep each other accountable. Right. 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 Yeah. In Don't the midst it. of dinner, you're like, yeah. Yes. Let's talk about the church. Hold up, hold up. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's the get some dinner. Or the children. Uh, yeah. Right. Or the yeah. children. We are not talking And about sometimes it takes two minutes and you're looking at each other like, uh, hello. What are we going to talk about? Yeah, what are we going to oh, talk oh, about? No, I do have some things. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I do. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So you have to really keep each other on track and keep mm-hmm. each other accountable. Yeah. I started just writing Tony lists. Mm-hmm. of things that are just on my mind about ministry or the kids or whatever, mm-hmm. and I leave it in a spot he knows about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so he goes to that spot to see what has been What's on my mind, mind. Yeah. because okay. now oh, we're, we're having a that date is. and we're, we're, we're set aside some time and we're not going to talk about that. Mm-hmm. Okay. But don't forget oh, that list. Yeah. Yeah. It's, right, <laughs> it's right over there. Yeah. So set us some time, and I was talking about people that are on different budgets, different levels, yes. and that's fine. Yeah. You don't wait to get to a certain budget level to decide mm-hmm. you're going to date. That's right. Right. You can right. go to the movies. Yeah. If you're my age, That's you have right. senior discounts. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. I get some want popcorn. my discount. Right. Yes. <laughs> get some popcorn and set in and enjoy a good movie. That's right. We, we used to... Um, Put the kids to bed. Yes. They had a bedtime. It's mm-hmm. important that your kids have a yes. bedtime. Yes. So <laughs> put the kids the to bedtime. bed. Yes. yes. <laughs> and uh, we'd get takeout. 
Mm-hmm. Let's go yes. to our room and oh, watch a movie. And, and that was our daytime. Mm-hmm. But we wow. did it regularly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like we that. just pulled on Netflix. You a nice good movie. Yeah. Yes. And I nice. think that it's a, the, the smallest investment yeah. can make a difference. And you don't True. Wow. You don't always need a month or a week right, away. You know, right. we had our anniversary yes. a, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> I got a text from my assistant. Yeah. You have a lunch with your husband at <laughs> and so oh, we had to schedule it so yeah. the assistants got it yeah. together yes and look we looked and laughed and giggled for an hour and a half and love it we were like nice. okay high five and we you know if you don't know what mm. to do we have a thing we do especially on our anniversaries yeah. but when we get together we do remember when and oh. that is always okay. fun when you're trying to recapture who you are and man yes. we were laughing about Remember when we were broke? Remember when we made up this song? Remember yeah. when the oh. car stopped? Remember the first time? <laughs> just, it is so fun. Remember to just, when? Like, remember when? Oh, like, you remember that one time, and so it was who can come up with the funniest story? Yeah. Yes. You forget, <laughs> you know, that's that yes. y'all were just crazy kids at one point. Yeah. You know? yeah. So it's fun. Get and that time thing you can do is just walk in the park. Yeah. Yes. Just enjoy mm-hmm. some vitamin A. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Get from, yes. from behind that desk, get from behind that next yes. meeting. Absolutely. Maybe take a break at lunch. Mm-hmm. I remember many times um, going over to the church mm-hmm. and walking in Tony's office and mm-hmm. saying, I'm hungry. Right. I'm sure you are too. <laughs> <laughs> because go. maybe yeah. like your husbands, they work through meals. They mm-hmm. yes. Or they have meals and meetings. Mm-hmm. You know? yes. Yes. So they're just... Mm-hmm. Eating constantly, or Tony doesn't eat much, mm-hmm. whatever. But I would just walk up there and said, "We are going to lunch." Mm-hmm. So yes. sometimes you just have to kind of make your own dates up, mm-hmm. or like right. you said, dinner mm-hmm. or a weekend away, or yes. Yes. whatever it is. But plan it. Um, mm-hmm. One another thing we like to do is I don't know if they still do it. Look at go to open houses. Oh yeah, where you can just walk the, in and see oh, a house right. is yeah. decorated yeah. and designed. Yeah. I don't know if they still do that because we haven't they done do that in a while. Yeah. They still do yeah. that. And we just love looking at ideas and mm-hmm. things like that. So you can make it very simple, very creative, mm-hmm. but schedule mm-hmm. right. and plan yeah. mm-hmm. to Intention have time protected. together. What yeah. are some other things you guys do? I mm-hmm. asked oh. my husband yeah. for an update. Just about every month I asked him. Mm-hmm. What do you need from me now? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. That is so good. It's like, who do you need me to be right now? Yeah. Okay. We're empty nesters, mm-hmm. yeah. and so I have a lot more time mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. focus on him mm-hmm. and me. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so that's just amazing. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And it'll be an upgrade, because yeah. what I used to do, he doesn't need me to do anymore. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I've okay. got stuck in a routine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, he mm-hmm. says, you don't have to cook. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, Amen. we can hey, go man. out. Be free. You know? Yes. I was like, I don't. Receive it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, and I, I yeah. think it's really, really great. But yeah. to get him to uh, just S-T-O-P, mm-hmm. Mission Impossible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. It's almost like he feels like it's almost a nag. You know, you could just drop that little nugget, say, mm-hmm. aren't you tired? Mm-hmm. But when I'm tired, I want to go to bed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When he's tired, he wants to go and do something that he doesn't usually do. Right. Got gotcha. you. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, you know, yeah. our, our method of rest and restoration is very different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you sleep all the time. I said that my favorite time of day is going to bed at night. <laughs> Mine too. Yeah. I think we like sleep in general. Oh, yes. We think about I sleep so even during the day. Yeah. During yeah, the day, during you start thinking, day. I think I'm going to bed early. <laughs> I know. Like excited. Oh, good. Well, I'm good. I'm glad to know I'm not. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But, <laughs> but sleep is so important, important though. It, it is. is. It is. My yes. husband can get two, four hours yeah. and too. run and for months. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't have that annoyance. Mm-hmm. I can't run it. your yeah. race with it. Yeah. Sure. Do I want it? Don't want it. Probably yeah. not. Okay. <laughs> so that's what you mentioned. You know, sometimes you go away together, and sometimes what did you say? Yes. Yeah, yeah, we say I have, have self sabot and spouse sabot yeah. and spouse oh, sabot. Right mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah. And spouse sabot. Okay. And even if we go away yeah. for several days, we in that we get into a routine in our day. We mm-hmm. usually go to Jamaica. That's where my husband's from. And, uh-huh. Uh, so we'll go there and I like that. almost every day in the mornings we have breakfast. Yes. And then from morning to lunch we're doing our thing. Because yeah, relaxation for him is going through a stack of books on leadership and going through <laughs> yeah. relaxation for me yeah. is this. Right. Yes. <laughs> right. Yes. I'm the water, staring the at the water. Yeah. Yeah. I'm counting waves. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. take much for me. And so yeah. we reconvene mm-hmm. at lunch. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll do something for dinner. Yeah. And then again, sometimes we're in the room yeah. and we're just yeah. in our yeah. spot. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. we're talking to each other. And yeah. so it, it kind of ebbs and flows because, yeah. like you say, yeah. we recharge differently. And yeah. so, that's right. Yeah. We're just making sure it happens. Yeah, you know? that's, and right. So that's right. So I'll ask him when, you know, 
Are you reading something new? When's, okay, like this weekend, he's like, I'm asking so and so to preach this weekend. I say, good for you. Oh, you know, wow. and so mm -hmm. he, and he'll actually be there. He with will, him preaching. No, he will. He's gonna go to one of our campus gotcha. locations because okay. he doesn't okay. get to go visit right. the, the location, the satellite location. Gotcha. And so, okay. um, just trying to find a rhythm. So That's he'll try good. to teach eight weeks on, one week off, or six on, oh, and nice. one. Yeah. You know, just trying to find a yeah. rhythm. Yeah. So again, yeah. it's it's kind of managing, you know, itself. Yes. So. Right. Well, here's right. a question for us: How does a pastor's wife of an only child deal with her husband and her mother's seemingly codependent relationship? Oh, the pastor is an only child? Yes. Okay. How does a pastor's wife pastor's of an only child deal with her husband and his mother's seemingly codependent relationship? Oh, must that, it must be that the husband yeah, is an only, the only child. child. Let's, let's answer it that way. What do you think? Hmm. That's kind of a that very tough. sticky situation yeah. there. Wow. And it depends on the age of the parent. Okay. Uh, of course, but... Um, one thing that I always try to challenge when I do marital, premarital counseling mm -hmm. is you're marrying his family. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I know that leave and cleave scripture, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, mm -hmm. that's his mama. Mm -hmm. And they share birthdays that you know nothing about. Mm -hmm. And you've got to respect her. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then should wow. something happen, like my mother-in-law ended up living with us for about two years mm -hmm. with... Um, Autism, mm -hmm. not autism, Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. And um, so whoever they were before you came into the relationship, mm -hmm. you kind of got to keep that the way it is. Mm -hmm. okay. And not be, don't make the mother-in-law the other woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. not wise. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Thank you. Another question. Yeah. How does a pastor's wife pursue her call and passion that places her on a platform without feeling guilty, being Fearful, feeling like she will be over, will overshadow her husband's ministry. Right, right. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. This is the best yeah, water that's my ever. Whole life. <laughs> <laughs> you teach every other week. Talk about it. I do, and the the biggest thing yeah. I think when I knew what the Lord called me to do before I married my husband. Okay. Okay. But. I, you need your husband's affirmation Ooh, and true. support. Yeah. Because if he said to me, mm. I know your gifts, I know you can teach, this is not your season. I need to say, okay. And okay. so don't yeah. let mm. your uh, purpose-driven aspirations mm -hmm. over, you know, give, you know, outweigh your husband's authority. He, he needs to weigh in on the issue because okay. once he supports it, yeah, it's done. So yeah. last night I spoke at an event our church had, and every now and then I'll speak when it's our, our whole church is gathered, and my husband gets up and he's like, I want y'all to hear from my wife, da-da-da, and then that's what we do. And so mm -hmm. uh, I don't worry about it overshadowing because if I stay submitted to my husband, yeah. then the Lord sure. will manage what, what right. needs to happen in ministry. Yeah. And I know when I need to sit down, and yes. I, don't, I don't say I need to, you know, I don't volunteer myself. I let my husband pave the way. Mm -hmm. And then, mm -hmm. then that's what we do. And gotcha. so I think um, if you feel like you've got a gifting or a calling for the platform, first you need to ask, does my husband support this and affirm it? Okay. Oh, and if he lady. does not, even if he's wrong, you need to submit to his wrong authority and let the Lord correct him. Yes. Yes. It's not going to go well oh for you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my Re rebellion is never the answer, even if he's wrong. Wow. And so he needs to support it first. And then once he does, you all can work together mm. and figure out what that ministry is going to look like. Right. Yeah. There's so much freedom in that. Yeah. I love wow. it. Me too. I love it. Knowing yeah. that when I'm here yeah. or doing anything, wow. yeah. my husband's like, what do you need? So yes. you can go. Yes. Yeah. I love it. But the day he says, it's too much, yeah. let's take a break. I'll be like, all right, I, I can't come this time. Yeah. You know? oh, so you, okay. you just you need wow. his affirmation and his support. Very and then good. the Lord will work That's out the logistics. Very, good. Awesome. Very yeah. good. Here's another question from a pastor's wife who says her husband is a great leader in church, but he doesn't lead at home. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Ouch. I'm going to take a sip of water. Yes, yes, yes. This water is good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, there may be an you, answer in this cup. How do you get him and encourage him to lead at home? You know, I think wow. that, that, that's mm -mm -mm. an area that has to be devoted to the Lord. You have oh, to wow. give that to the and, Lord. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you have to think about, Father, I want my husband to lead us in devotions. Mm -hmm. I want him to, you know, make sure he's managing the home. But that is not something that a woman 
can impose mm -hmm. on her husband, right. and the woman she can can't. say, you need to leave this home oh, better, and that's where our attention is striped, because that's, yes. the, that's, yeah. our first, uh, that's mm. the first direction we want to yeah. move mm -hmm. in. You're not doing a good job here. Mm -hmm. um, mm. But that you have to commit that to prayer, yes. prayer yes. and fasting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. when wow. you're praying for your husband daily, mm -hmm. it's hard to be at battle with him. Mm -hmm. you know, it's hard okay. to, you know, mm -hmm. to, to, to uh, speak negatively yeah. and to have yes, those negative yes. thoughts. Mm -hmm. You understand that he's got some areas that he has to grow in as See? well. Mm -hmm. He's a tremendous pastor, but yes. there are areas in his life that mm -hmm. he has to grow sure. in and come mm -hmm. to understand. And God great. has got to work that out in him. Right, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. that's true. Yeah. And you probably already said it, Jackie, and include him in the discussion of what you're going to do next. Like if you're going to have devotion with the mm -hmm. yeah. devotions with the children, just let them know, we're having devotions. Do you want to join us? Do you want to pray? Mm -hmm. Just so all that you're Absolutely. doing, what you need to yes. do for the family's sake, yeah. Yes. He knows he's included if he wants to. Mm -hmm. right. you know, so he's still the leader. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you're yeah. still continuing mm -hmm. with um, leading your family, yeah. devotions, mm -hmm. and things like yeah. that, yeah. you know? And yeah. ask the Lord, God, God, am I making this difficult? Oh. Am I oh, making wow. leading oh, the home a difficult yeah. place? Yeah. Because wow. if you have everything together, yeah. and he doesn't he doesn't know where he fits. Yeah. Wow. Well, he knows where he fits at church. Right. He's the leader. People obey. <laughs> they wow. follow. Wow. If you have created this home environment oh where goodness. he doesn't know where he fits, oh, then oh, wow. it may be very difficult for him to come in and say, "Wow, I, yeah." I, you're Ooh. like, no, that's not how we do it. Right. I, I got oh, it. My. I got it. Right. And so, oh wow. Ask the Lord. It needs to, you know, Hebrews uh, thirteen seventeen says it needs to be a joy to lead. And so, right. God, right. am I yeah. making this a joy? Mm. Is this a safe place? Am I making room for Him to lead? Because Ooh, sometimes it's good. us. Yes. Wow, we're so good. busy. Yeah. We're so efficient yeah. Yeah. and good at it yeah. that when good. they come in, they're trying to figure out where do I fit? Because right. it seems mm. like you have it together yeah. Yeah. <laughs> without That's good. me. That's good. I know I fit over here at church, yeah. so I'm gonna go back. Ooh, to the office. That's good. You that's know, very, it's the same thing with work, yeah. by the way. If, wow. if it's not ministries, why men yeah. work a lot of times the long hours and they do those wow. things because they know where they fit. And yeah. so that's good. We have to make room for them. That's good. Yeah. Well, I've got another question here. What is our role in ministry as a pastor's, a new pastor's wife? And I'm going to kind of read my answer because I struggle with this one as I try to answer it. Because mm -hmm. I, I struggle with the word role. Mm -hmm. I really do. I've been at this yeah. 41 years and I still <laughs> struggle with the role word. Yeah. It, it could be negative or positive connotations to it. Mm -hmm. So let me explain that later. When you start a ministry, this is a question of a new pastor's wife. When you start a ministry, you pretty much do everything. Yes. All of us helped start our ministries, and we did everything. Mm -hmm. Everything. I even mopped. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm sure. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Vacuum. Right. Empty the trash. We, we did everything. Whatever so yeah. as a new pastor's wife, if you're starting a church, you're probably going to be doing everything. Mm -hmm. So I don't think, though, that is necessarily your role. Okay? As much as it, it's a job, it's a task, it's a function mm -hmm. because of your calling to do what needs to be done because there's a purpose to accomplish a goal of building a ministry. Mm -hmm. So what we have to be careful with is that we don't stay in that function and call that oh, a role mm -hmm. because yeah. we have to start yeah. something. Mm -hmm. You know, so we got to do everything. We got to do yeah. accomplish the task and everything. Yet, <laughs> right. but you cannot stay in that zone yeah. and call it a fun, call it your role, and then mm -hmm. ask God, does He care? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, wow, it could good. be very. It could become a very very dry place because mm -hmm. you've Ooh. mixed up things. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so as you grow, as God brings people into your ministry, mm -hmm. we have a charge, and we have to change our focus. Mm -hmm. Um, to now discipling the saints to do the work of the ministry. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Ephesians 4, 12 through 16 mm -hmm. says we have to disciple, equip the church to do the work of the ministry. Mm -hmm. So you should change your role or change your function. Uh, I'm using the role word a little carefully. Mm -hmm. Change your function to mentoring, coaching, mm -hmm. and releasing the saints that are in line with your vision mm -hmm. and passion. Mm -hmm. you got to watch the mm -hmm. saints that you release. Mm -hmm. But releasing the saints <laughs> to do the work of the ministries mm -hmm. so you can then slide into the specific gifting, and Jackie mentioned it earlier, Jeremiah 1, 4, and 5. Before you're placed in your mother's womb, you have a specific gifting and skill and calling and Absolutely. passion on yeah. your life. Absolutely. So as you, as you train the saints and release the saints that fit right into your passion and vision, then you slip right into mm -hmm. your, let's use the word carefully, role, mm -hmm. but your gifting, okay? Mm -hmm. Because I believe your gifting determines your role. True. Mm -hmm. And Amen. when you get your gifting in check that you're passionate about and you have purpose about and you mention the words calling mm -hmm. and then you then it's not just a job. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you're still doing a task, you're still 
performing every day, mm -hmm. but it's in your gifting, okay? Yeah. All right, I still got some more for you because I'm struggling with the word role. Mm -hmm. We have it switched where our role determines our gifts. Mm -hmm. And we got to switch that thing around. I went yeah. to just the dictionary and the role, role, the meaning of role is a part or character someone performs, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And sadly, a lot of pastors' wives are performing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're just performing and performing, mm -hmm. and we are not functioning in our position of mm -hmm. ourselves. And that came up a lot today, mm -hmm. of us being yeah. ourselves. Yes. We have okay. to stop playing someone else's mm -hmm. part. Amen. Play your own yes. part. Yes. Stay in your own grill, grid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stay in your own path. Because yes. Jeremiah said, God has predestined your path. Yes. It's, yes. He it says just work it out. Yeah. Ephesians yeah. talk about working it out. Yeah. Working yes. out what? Yes. Working out what he's called you to Absolutely. accomplish. Okay? It's still more. Come I want on. you to remember <laughs> that you are a gifted, skilled, talented woman of God, married to a man who is a pastor. That helped me changed psychologically changed the wording around mm -hmm. yes. that mm -hmm. I am gifted called my mm -hmm. gift sets yes. are probably not the traditional gift sets but I am called I'm gifted and I'm skilled as a woman of God mm -hmm. married to a man who's a pastor yep. and that kind of yeah. helped me That's get good. through the early years yeah. I like so it. stir up the gifts in you second mm -hmm. Timothy one through six stir them up mm -hmm. he has designed a set path and plan for you that was predestined. I said that already. So he's going to sustain his gifting, not your performance. All right? Ooh, so yeah. make sure your gifting is the focus of your performance. Mm. And the icing on top of the cake is to have the pastor publicly acknowledge your gifting and contribution yeah. to your family and the, to your ministry. So the, the congregation, best. yes. Yeah. So the congregation has the right to, to understand Amen. over time. Over time, this might take some time, mm -hmm. that this is exactly where your family is going as it relates Hello. to your, uni your unified goals and yes. purpose yes. and vision and calling. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm calling your gifting is your role. Mm -hmm. Not your it. role, yeah. your gifting. Yeah. All right, yeah. all right yeah. now. <laughs> all right now. Yes. Somebody else wants to add to that? Yes. Oh, well, no. no. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> but before we close, I think I see Rhonda. I think before we close, thank you so much, ladies, for being here. Thank you. Well. I can hear you applauding in yeah. face, yeah. Yeah. Facebook yeah. Live. Yeah. Jada, oh. hey. Jada, Jackie, my, my friends, right. Yeah. <laughs> and Sarita, I'm so glad you guys could join us Me today. Too. Yes. And before we go off the air, mm -hmm. I want you to go to loisevans.org. We're all passionate about ministering to pastors' wives, and I've got a website just for you, a very interactive website. There are articles, there are study notes for you, there are retreat centers, recommendations I mentioned to you, counselors. There's a safe place on there for senior mm -hmm. pastors' wives. Mm -hmm. It's password protected. So you can go on there. You don't have to give us your name unless you want to. The Lord knows your name. Yes. We just want to be ministering to you and encouraging you. And women from all over the country are in this safe place for senior pastors' wives. That's so we want to minister to you on a regular beautiful. basis. And then there's a Facebook network. Okay. Facebook Pastors' Wife Network Group. Mm -hmm. And women are there connecting all over the country uh, physically and online as well. So again, we just want to minister to you. So join us on loisevans.org. And I don't know if we're still on or not, but thank you so much. Melissa, I see you there. Jewel, I see you there. And one other thing, Care Warren is on Facebook Live probably right now. So if you still have some time, join Kay Warren. She's actually speaking with pastor's wives today. All right? Okay. We're so glad you joined us. One more thing, Rhonda, do I have one more thing? And my friend Tara Jenkins is going to have a conference in July. So save the date, July 11 and 12th in Dallas, Texas at the Fairmont Hotel. Go to ministrymates.org and we'll see you there. And then you've got Megafest coming up and what's going on in your life? Oh, God. In October. October. If you're in the Allen or North Texas yes. area, we've got Bible study twice a month for our women that I teach. Love to have you out. And yeah. Jackie, what's We've got going? a Bible study coming up. Yes. Um, it's going to be on Monday evenings mm -hmm. at our church. We welcome those in the Arlington area, mm -hmm. Fort Worth area, to come and be a part of that. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And Jada, why don't you pray for us? I got Absolutely. the sign. All right. Let's <laughs> pray. pray. Thank you. Father, we are grateful, absolutely grateful for a time to gather, to uh, share our stories, be transparent. Mm -hmm. 
And right now, I thank you for the women at this table. Mm -hmm. And I thank you for every woman who is watching, got to watch a portion or all of it. All of the women who have committed to uh, husbands who lead churches. Mm -hmm. Lord, we just pray a very special blessing over them. Uh, not just favor and provision, but that one of rest. Mm -hmm. Your word says in Matthew mm -hmm. 11, that if we come to you, if we're weary and heavy, you will give us rest. And yes. so I just pray that you would remind these women that regardless of what's happening in life today, that the promises of joy and abundance and rest mm. and favor mm -hmm. and purpose, those things can still be true. Mm -hmm. uh, would you show them in their various situations and scenarios what the next step is to take? Yes. God, sometimes we don't need to see down the road and next year, but what do we need to do next? Will your Holy Spirit speak to them and guide them step by step? I just pray for them and I pray uh, for Miss Lois Evans, God, who's been a wonderful mentor to me. Would you continue to stir this burden to minister to wives of pastors? So we thank you for this day and I pray that your spirit would let the truth that needs to resonate in each woman resonate. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you so much. Amen. We appreciate it.